Hey guys and welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review and demo of the new Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. So this isn't going to be a worth the money Wednesday because I don't feel like I've used it or had it long enough to really make a judgment call about whether or not it's worth the money, but I did want to do just a little quick demo and review because it is a newer product and I figured people would be curious about how it looked on the skin and how I felt about it, how the coverage was, um, you know, how it wore throughout the day and stuff like that. So just to jump in, this product retails for $29. I bought mine at Sephora and it was kind of like, I want to say it was a little bit of an impulse purchase because I was going on vacation and I really didn't feel like I had a good solid BB cream to wear in the hotter weather like I tend to like a little bit of a lighter foundation when it's hot outside so you don't feel quite as heavy and I feel like a BB cream is really good for that plus you don't need as much coverage when you have a little bit of a tan so I was looking for a BB cream that could kind of be a little bit more coverage than the ones that I had and I happened to come across this on Sephora and I was like oh this is cool it's a brand new product um, and it just sounded really really nice so it uh, again it retails for $29 and I'm gonna read you the description because I just find it's really helpful for me so I figure I'll pass it along so it's a versatile gel cream that combines skincare benefits and naturally radiant coverage in one um, so it says it achieves dewy sheer to medium coverage to give skin a radiant soft and smooth looking appearance formulated with mineral electrolytes to help energize skin it is also infused with marine botanicals to help replenish dry skin it contains heart leaf globe daisy an antioxidant which aids in protecting against environmental stressors improving the appearance of skin while keeping it hydrated so I was a little bit worried about the fact that it talks about keeping your skin hydrated so much because I really don't want a BB cream that's going to make me look really greasy um, and not do anything to control my oil. But I have to say, the couple times that I've worn this, I don't really feel like it does that. I feel like it doesn't necessarily keep you matte, but at the end of the day, you're not looking like a total grease ball. So what I found was that when you put it on, it has a really, really radiant, dewy look to it. And it it's a little scary at first because you're like, I look a little shiny. Um, but then once you give it a couple minutes to sort of settle in, it looks a lot more natural and a lot more toned down and you don't look as shiny. Um, so what you can do with this is you can put on a layer and if you aren't happy with that amount of coverage, you can kind of like let it dry and settle in and then apply a new layer and you can achieve more coverage. So I would say um, this says medium coverage. I would probably say light to medium coverage is fair for this product. Um, it's it's a BB cream, so you don't expect a lot of coverage out of it, but it's definitely not going to do a lot to cover up your blemishes. You're going to have to go back in with a concealer if you really want that flawless looking face. But when you reach for a BB cream, typically you're not looking for that flawless airbrushed look. You're kind of just looking for something that's going to even out your skin tone and make your skin look a little bit healthier and more presentable for the day. So I also like the fact that this has ingredients that are supposed to help your skin and improve the look of your skin, which is always good when we wear makeup. Um, it's nice to know that it's helping our skin at the same time. It's kind of like skincare and makeup in one. Um, so that's really, really nice. Um, so I'm in the shade Suede 04. I got a color that is a little bit darker than a color that I would normally go for because I estimated that I would be using this throughout the summer. And actually, at the moment, I think it's a tiny bit light for me. I can't tell if it's like a, t a little bit light or just if the undertone is a little bit off because when I put it on it almost looks a touch of grayish or something. It kind of makes me a little ashy. So after I put this on I have to warm it up with some bronzer. But I definitely have a little bit more of a tan than I typically would. I did go on vacation last week and it's kind of at getting to be at the end of its life now. It's fading out. Um, it's definitely not as dark as it was so this is probably going to match me a little bit better now than it did at the beginning of the week. Um, so it recommends to apply, oh it also has um, SPF 30, which is really really nice when you're thinking about throwing something on your face. Going out for the day, especially in the warmer months when there's more sun, you have that built-in protection which is really great. So um, it recommends to apply with your fingertips, so I'm going to do half of my face with my fingertips and half of my face with just this Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, either way works fine. Some foundations I really, really like to use my fingers and others I much prefer a brush. So I'm going to show you both 
methods and you can kind of make a decision as to which one you like better. So, the texture of this is really interesting for a BB cream. It's almost like a mousse. It's much thicker than some of the other BB creams that I've seen. It almost reminds me of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, I think that's what it's called. It has a very, very similar texture to that. So that's sort of different, like as you can see when I hold my hand up, it doesn't run down my hand like say the Maybelline BB Cream does. So that thicker texture I think help pro helps it to provide a little bit more coverage. Um, it's not quite so sheer. Still pretty sheer, but that thickness definitely helps you to get more out of it. So a little bit of this really does go a pretty long way. So I'm just going to use my fingertip to apply this to half of my face. And as you can see, it's super radiant when you first put it on. Super, like, shiny, basically. And I'm not really shy when I apply a BB cream. I tend to put a decent amount on because I do want to get the most coverage that I can. Obviously, I'm not looking for full coverage, but I am looking for you to be able to tell a difference. If that makes any sense. Okay, so now that that is applied, like I mentioned earlier, you can kind of see that it's a little bit light for me right now. It washes me out a little bit, but I'm definitely darker than I am usually. So I'm gonna use, do this side of the face. I'm just going to rub it in with my fingers. And I'm going to take it right up underneath the eye just because it is a BB cream and it's really hydrating so it's not going to leave your under eyes looking really dry and cakey if you do put some under there. It blends in easily. You don't have to work at it too much. It just kind of melts into the skin and that helps to increase the natural look of it. So you can really see that radiance there, but when it dries, it does calm down a little bit. All right, for this side, I'm just going to buff it in with my brush. I might need to get a little bit more on this side. Okay, so when you compare the side with the brush and the side with your fingers, I think you might get a little bit of additional coverage when you use your fingers just because I don't really know why. I don't know if the brush picks up more than your fingertips do, but I do feel like when you look at the comparison, um, it is a little bit thicker on this side. So you can kind of make the decision of what method you want to use based on how much how much coverage you want, what the occasion is, and all that stuff. So right when you put it on, you definitely have that very radiant, shiny look. And it's a little bit freaky because you definitely don't want to look shiny, but um, it settles down and it doesn't dry to a matte by any means, but it definitely dries down to a more, just just more like your skin but better kind of a thing. Not, not so not so radiant. So I have not worn this product to work and I do feel like the wear is pretty good. I will typically set any BB cream or foundation with a little bit of powder, whether a mattifying powder or a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, just to set everything into place and to help add a little bit more coverage. So with a little bit of setting powder, I feel like the lasting powder on this, is, or the lasting power on this is really pretty nice for a BB cream. So you could definitely get away with wearing this to work, especially if you're looking for something lighter and you're looking for something with a little bit less coverage than a foundation. Um, I'm definitely planning on wearing this throughout the summer and I like that the sheerness is going to adapt to my skin a little better if I get a little bit tanner or a little red or whatever. It's not going to be such a harsh contrast as when you use a foundation. Um, I like this product. I'm definitely a fan of it so far. I want to keep on using it and keep experimenting with it and figuring out the best ways to apply it and all that stuff. But I'm thinking that your fingers are probably 
the best way to go. Again, though, either way is really fine. Um, but as you can see, like my hyperpigmentation there is showing through. I definitely have some blemishes, so it's not going to give you a flawless finish. But overall, this is a really, really nice option for a BB cream. That thicker, moussier texture gives you more coverage. It's great for your skin. It has SPF and there's a lot of color options. It's easy to find, all that stuff. So you can't really go wrong with Bare Minerals. I feel like their stuff is typically really, really effective, but also pretty affordable. I mean, $20, $29 isn't that bad. So they're just a great option for a wide range of products. More thing, I always comment on the scent when I do any sort of foundation or BB cream review. And this, the smell is really mineral. mineral. The smell is really minimal. It just kind of smells a little bit like sunscreen, but definitely not a scent that would really bother anybody. All right, so that completes my quick little review and demo of this product, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Gel Cream. It's kind of like a BB cream, CC cream mixed up into one. I hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. I know that was pretty quick and I probably missed some details and didn't tick every box off so definitely definitely let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. I always get back to comments right away. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday and I love to see new subscribers and I love to see new people coming to my channel. It's just a great feeling. So if you liked this video don't forget to do those things and please stop back soon for my next video. Thanks so much for stopping by. See you soon.